Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Bryony and I'm going to be talking to you about stretch marks today. If you're new here, don't forget to click the like and subscribe button and you can even click the notification bell to get a notification every time I post. Other than that, let's get going. So I'm going to be telling you what stretch marks are, why you get them, why you should love them, and then I'm gonna give you a few influences that will teach you how to love them. So what are stretch marks? Stretch marks are little lines on your body where your body has stretched. So they're almost like scars. It's where your body is pulled apart and it goes a bit translucent slash scar tissue-ish like. You normally get them around your legs, your belly, your boobs, all places that grow really. You can also get them on your arms and anywhere, to be honest, as long as you're adding weight to it or losing weight to it. So why do you get them? So stretch marks you get when you gain or lose a lot of weight quite quickly. So you can get them in puberty, you can get them in pregnancy, or you can get them when you lose weight from exercise or any other reason. And you can also get them when you gain weight, say from eating disorder recovery or something like that. It's essentially when your skin gets stretched. It's normally rapid growth or rapid shrinking. Stretch marks are extremely common and if you are a woman you're bound to get them. Not just because we get pregnant, because you might not want to have kids as I don't, but because we fluctuate in weight quite a lot because of hormones and periods and everything like that. So it's completely normal to have them. Most of the female population do, so don't worry about that. So the reason you get them is because when you gain weight, your skin stretches quicker than it should be. And the skin can't accommodate for that stretch. So stretch marks can fade over time, but on others they might be more permanent, which is fine. They're never gonna completely disappear, so don't believe any online things about getting rid of stretch marks because they are false. But why should you love your stretch marks? Like that's the whole point of this video, really. I'm trying to say you guys should love them because they are beautiful. But why? Why should you love them? Number one, they prove that you are capable of change. Having stretch marks means that you have the ability to transform yourself into anything, which I think is pretty amazing, actually. Maybe your body changed quickly during puberty or pregnancy, or you just gained some weight or lost some weight. Whichever one, it changed. And that is pretty cool. Your body has endured life and generally just living in general, and you're still here. And that's something to be proud of in this time to be honest. Number two, because they make you strong. If you can survive change, you can survive anything. Change is one of the weird things where some people love it and some people hate it. Some people need it to be stagnant. But either way, if you love it or you hate it, you're strong if you survive it. After all, survival of the fittest, as Darwin said, if you survive, you are the fittest. Number three, stretch marks remind you that you don't have to fit into society's ideal beauty standards. I talk about this a lot, but beauty standards are ridiculous. It's very rare that we fit into all of those, aka at the moment it's having freckles on your things and a little petite nose. Back in the day it was being super super skinny. It changes, so you're never gonna be it really. So this shows that you can get out of that matrix and be who you are without having to adhere to beauty standards and I think that's pretty cool to be honest. Stretch marks are reminders that what is necessarily socially pretty doesn't apply to me and I'm perfect in my own way. I'm imperfectly perfect some might say. Number four, they are unique. Each stretch mark is unique which makes you unique, rare and beautiful. It's impossible for someone else to have the same stretch marks as you. Everyone's going to be different lengths, different widths, just different in general and yours are uniquely yours. They make you more special and different from the whole population which is amazing. Number five, which is my favourite one, is they unite us. Most women have stretch marks and although our stretch marks are one of a kind and completely unique, most people have them. It reminds us that we're all human and we're not perfect and that's fine because we're still here surviving, living life, having fun most of the time and being imperfect, perfect women and that's great. Like we're women and that's beautiful and that's amazing. So I'm gonna give you a few influences that I think are great. So first we have Ashley Graham. Ashley Graham is a plus size model, been a long standing role model of mine. I think she's amazing. She talks about this quite regularly so you can go and follow her on Instagram or wherever. And she just posts about it on her Instagram and she just shows you that it's completely normal to have that. Number two is Zemi Lovato. She talks a lot on Twitter about it and I haven't really seen it on Instagram but she might have said it on Instagram. She posts only real photos of herself online now, she's vowed to anyway. And she posts it in her Instagram stories as well. Another one is Chrissy Teigen. 
Kristen. She talks about it from a pregnancy angle. Obviously, she was pregnant. So she has stretch marks on her tummy and she talks about it quite a lot. Another one is the bird's papaya. Again, another pregnancy one. And she had them before she was pregnant though. So it's kind of, it showed you what they're like without pregnancy. You don't have to be pregnant to have them. And now she's pregnant, she showed you what it is like with. And my final one is Dana Mercer, not pregnant no kid she has got stretch marks on her legs and they are beautiful she does these amazing things where she puts glitter on them and they just look beautiful so go and check those out and as i always say curate your feed if you have an insecurity make sure you find influencers who show that insecurity because then it will normalize it in your mind that is the end of my video i hope by showing you this and telling you these things it's kind of become a bit more normal in your mind you do need to put the effort in on your side as well so make sure you go and follow those people and do affirmations and things like that and you'll get that i promise if you did enjoy this video don't forget to click the like and subscribe button and i will see you next week for another vlog let me know in the comments if you want to see anything specific any specific insecurities but yeah